woman killed after she opened fire in Joel Osteen's mega church. Boy with her was also shot and hospitalized. Currently, the boy they say may not make it because he is in critical condition. A woman in a trench coat opened fire with the long gun Sunday. This is the same day as the Super Bowl, but it was earlier. Inside celebrity pastor Joel Osteen's megachurch in Texas, two off-duty officers confronted and killed the shooter. Two other people were shot and injured, including a five-year-old boy who was in critical condition. The violence erupted shortly before the Houston church's 2 p.m. Spanish service, which was set to begin. The girl entered the enormous Lakewood Church, a building with 16,000 person capacity that was previously an arena for the NBA's Houston Rockets with the boy who was later hurt in a shootout. OK, and a man in his 50s was mo- wounded currently, which I thought was kind of weird. They don't know who the boy is. They're like, OK, could this be her son? Do we know they didn't confirm it at all yet? And I wanted to add this part in, you know, because, you know, you're like, okay, well, what's a mega church? You know, how big is it? And I went and looked it up and it says Lakewood Church got some really great reviews on it. They got the address. It says a non-denominational evangelical Christian mega church located in Houston, Texas. All right. And I mean, this place, (laughs) yo, this place is massive. Just looking at how many people are in here. You know, when you see the number written down, it's like, ah, but well, when you actually see it, it's like, whoa, this is massive, yo. Um, and also, by the way, his net worth is what they claim over $50 million and the church gets $43 million in a year in collections. So just know that as well. But let's continue to the main story. Details of the confrontation remain unclear in the hours after the tragedy. It's also unknown what relationship, if any, the woman had to the boy. This is what I was saying earlier. And who actually shot him in the man. I'm thinking, speculation, allegedly. I'm thinking when the cops saw him or the security guards, they went and just lit up the place. That's what I'm thinking. I think that they possibly just went and, you know, shot the, you know, the perpetrator the man in his 50s and the boy obviously not on purpose but i mean it is what it is unfortunately the boy was in critical condition at the children's hospital while the man was in stable in a different hospital the shooting happened between services at the mega church uh, that is regularly attended by forty-five thousand people every week witnesses told reporters that they heard multiple gunshots christina rodriguez who was inside the church said that she started screaming there's a shooter there's a shooter And then she and others ran to the backside of the library inside the building, then stood in the stairway before they were told it was safe to leave. Two officers had to engage the woman. When she opened fire, they had been working security at the church. One cop was working off duty as a security officer at the church. The uh, officers worked for the Houston Police Department and the Texas Alcoholic Beverage Commission, respectively. Both have been placed on protocol, you know, mandated administrative duty. The woman told police that she had a bomb. Apparently she had a book bag and I guess her car was outside and they said they checked all this and they were like, we didn't see anything. Okay. And authorities said no explosives were found when the vehicle and backpack were searched. Yes. First responders continued to search the mega church for hours afterwards, obviously, because, you know, you can't just make a crazy threat like that and not have us do our due diligence. But first, before I continue on, I actually want you to hear what Joel Osteen had to say during the press conference. Chief and the mayor and Chief Penny and all of these men and women did an amazing job. And it's just, you you said it, Chief, it could have been a lot worse. Of course, we're devastated. I mean, we've been here 65 years and have somebody shooting in your church. But, you know, we don't understand why these things happen, but we know God's in control. And go and pray for that little five-year-old boy and pray for the lady that was deceased, her family and all, and, and the other gentlemen, but I don't know, it's just uh, kind of in a fog, but, you know, just believe that, you know, we're, we're going to stay strong, we're going to continue to to move forward, and there are- Now, some people have actually been talking about this, um, and what he is actually saying, 
and they have not liked his response they felt his response was just kind of like a insert generic kind of response yeah you know it's unfortunate that's what happened and without really offering a serious and real solution the forces of evil but the, the forces that are for us the forces of god are stronger than that so we're going to keep going strong and just uh you know doing what god's called us to do lift people up and give hope to the world again i want to thank all these gentlemen because you know i can only imagine if it would have happened during the 11 o'clock service we were in between services going into the spanish service so you know if they're if there's anything good of it you know what they're they, they, she didn't get in there and do a whole lot worse damage so we thank god for that he's watching over all of us and as the chief says we're going to keep going strong and bringing hope to the world but thank you again Jill. thank you uh, now let's continue texas governor greg abbott issued a statement saying quote unquote our hearts are with those impacted by today's tragic shooting and the entire Lakewood Community Church in Houston. Place of worship are sacred. All right. Now, you may be thinking, man, that is so upsetting and so crazy. You showed me a picture, but Alex, uh, I mean, you didn't really give us any information about who the shooter is or anything like that. I guess I'm confused. All right, I'm gonna play you a very short video. I think it's like three seconds. Um, play that first and then we'll come back. Good afternoon. My name is Jeffrey Scalante Moreno. Good afternoon. My name is Jeffrey Scalante Moreno. Our shooter, it appears to be, okay? Uh, this is our alleged, you know, potential shooter that got killed by the police officer or off-duty cop, rather. All right. So this is a female, from my understanding, this is a female who is pretending to be a male. Okay. Um, and that's what's going on. The 36-year-old previously identified as Jeffrey Ascalante. But original name was Genesis Moreno. Okay, so the birth name is Genesis Moreno. This new name for this new um, character is Jeffrey Ascalante. So the same person, completely different name. Had prior arrest for assault, forgery, marijuana possession, theft, evading and unlawful carrying of a weapon so this person had a history y'all and this was all according to the texas department of public safety records search um her criminal report dates back to 2005 and here is a image okay it's interesting that well i guess not so much we ain't even gonna get into all that but you can see this says Jeffrey on there and this says Ascalante Moreno. And that second from the top where it says Jeffrey Genesis. So it's like, is this your last name? I mean, not last name. Is it Jeffrey? I mean, where did the Jeffrey come from? I don't know. But what was interesting is you see the sex says female. But then it seemed like this person claimed to be a male. They were born in El Salvador. I was thinking, okay, a Hispanic person. You check the box well, white for race, but then they say that like this person says that they're not Hispanic, even though they're born in El Salvador. They said that the different arrests were for assault, forgery, marijuana possession, theft, evading and unlawful carrying of a weapon. Wow. I mean, you having all of this and you're not in there for a while. You're 36. You know, they say that uh, this Jeffrey person is 36 and it's like, wow, you really, I don't know, man. You know, I, I get three strikes was a lot of it was racially motivated, but man, sometimes I'm like, when you got a laundry list of stuff, it's like, maybe, maybe you don't need to be out, you know, but let me know what you all think about this story down below.